Hey, hey, Collector. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, so many and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go ahead and jump into this. See what message the spirit has for you today. All my subscribers, thank y'all so much. Watchers, likers, commenters, thank y'all as well for allowing me to sit and read for you guys. Goddess Oracle deck. See if we can get some messages from Spirit. See what it is that we need to focus on at this time. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what is the collective need to focus on at this time? What is the collective energy needs to focus on at this time, Holy Spirit? Choices. I see a lot of uh, daydream and imagination, things like that going on here. Also, there's something here about fairy dust as well. Spirit also is advising someone right now, focus on embracing your inner child here. Live freely. There's also something about nature and enjoying the colors and everything. Some of y'all, you know, y'all might start seeing a lot of like fireflies or things like this. I'm feeling like these are not fireflies. These are actually like your, um, your fairy. Your gods, your fairy gods is what spirit is saying. I'm also hearing chase your dreams. So at this time collective, what I'm feeling like here is spirit is seriously advising you just focus on yourself chase your dreams enjoy your life um embrace your inner child stop being so serious all the time because whatever it is you're doing you're definitely on the right path somebody here don't feel like they're doing a good job with their children as well spirit coming through saying you're doing an awesome job your children are very happy you know, you like uh, feed their imagination. You let them be exactly who they are. And spirit is proud of you for that. Yeah. Now we have stillness. Exactly. I'm feeling like somebody here, focus on keeping your energy to yourself. I feel like somebody here is the type that whenever somebody has a problem, you feel the need to help them solve it. Right now, spirit is telling you preserve your energy. Keep your energy to yourself. Yeah, look, enthusiasm. Be more enthusiastic about you. Pour more into yourself is what I'm feeling here, seriously. Yeah, because someone here, I heard don't chase. Somebody here is chasing a relationship. And spirit is advising you to stop that. Something here is about um, healing childhood wounds. But all of this has to do with getting back out into nature. Also, some of y'all, your kids are staying in the house too much. Like, take them to the park or something like that. Can they have, 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 Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's important for you to um, get your children out of the house. Introduce them to nature. Also, it's like... Um, Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, don't dim their light because I do feel like somebody here is going through some type of relationship problems. It's like don't don't um allow your children to see you go through this. I know that's hard, especially if you're a single mother. I'm hearing enter a closet. Also, there's something here about somebody. I don't know. Somebody here is going to be out. And you're going to see a rabbit. That's a very good sign. That's spirit being right there with you. Also, a squirrel. Somebody is coming up and close and personal with the squirrel like this squirrel is going to be really close and you like what is going on there that is also I'm, I'm hearing that's one of your ancestors so yeah you have angels and ancestors all around you at this time somebody is saying be enthusiastic about this change whatever change it is you're going through right now collective 
Because they want you to know that you're on the right path. You made the right choice with whatever this is. Somebody is making the choice to keep a baby. And that's the right choice. I'm hearing peace be still. Yeah, I'm feeling like somebody's um relationship could start affecting their children here as the children get older. So it's time to refocus and regroup. Also, somebody water your plants. I'm, I'm hearing water your plants. Because they're drying out. It's really hot outside. So someone needs to water their plants. I'm hearing that song. The eye of the uh, tiger is the thrill of the fight. So whatever it is you're going through right now. That's what this is. Be enthusiastic about it. Because it's taking you places that you never thought that you could go collected. We're going to pull some tarot on this as well. Yeah, somebody here. It's like a thing. It might be hard right now. Somebody here might even uh, be going through things, like I said, because of things that happened in their childhood. Yeah, this whatever it is could have dampened someone's spirit as a child, and that's carrying over. Holy oh, Spirit. Give me more on those choices. Yeah, focus. Focus. Yes, you have plenty of choices here. That's what I'm saying. You have the choice to either stay in this um in this funk, but spirit, your angels, your guides, everybody, they're telling you to get up. You have many, many choices, but you have to just focus. Focus on one thing at a time right now. Somebody is trying to do too much. Someone here has three children. I'm feeling like you have to do a, like a lot of running around here. But Spirit wants you to know that you, you're not alone. Also, I'm feeling like um, I'm hearing in the still of the night. So a lot of y'all could be getting downloads like your angels and your ancestors could be coming to you, uh, giving you downloads, you know, guidance on this situation. So it's very important for somebody to quiet your mind, like your environment, meditate so you can hear these messages, get these downloads. Holy Spirit, give me more of these choices, Lord. I'm hearing time is precious. So y'all spend as much time with y'all children as you can. Yeah, we got the seven of cups uh, with the choices. A lot of y'all feel like y'all don't have choices or options in some situation. here, But spirit is letting you know that you do. There is endless possibilities here. You are on the right track. Keep chasing your dreams, collective. Keep chasing your dreams. Even though it might be a lot of people who don't uh, agree with you about this, don't let these people dampen your spirit about whatever this is that you want to move forward on. Yeah, because I see like a lot of people are letting the opinions of other people make them procrastinate on this. Yeah, this could be people in your family. But whatever this is with the Ten of Cups, I'm feeling like it makes you happy. Whatever it is, it makes you happy. Also, some of y'all have a marriage proposal coming, and you're going to have to make a, a decision, like a, a lot, because I'm, I'm seeing like somebody has a, a marriage proposal coming, but there's also a lot of things that you still want to do before you get married, and it's nothing wrong with that, because if somebody actually want to spend their life with you, they're going to... They're going to wait for you to get right. I'm not saying that somebody's just going to wait, 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 wait on you or, you know, the situation. Put the energy where it goes. Switch it if you need to. But I do see that whatever this is, somebody here is about to get a marriage proposal. And you're going to, it's like... 
I'm hearing waiting game. Because I'm feeling like somebody still want to chase their dreams here. Somebody, it's like, okay, yeah, you want to marry this person. You want to have children with this person. Some of y'all already have children with this person. But it's like you have a lot of things you want to do or a lot of things you need to do before you can actually settle down into this, this married life. I'm feeling like somebody don't know how to express that to someone else, so they just... You know, they they stay quiet. They don't they just simply don't make any, any type of move. Holy Spirit, give me more on these choices. Look, and it came out the seven of pentacles. Yeah, somebody here wants to focus. It's like somebody wants to be financially stable before they enter into this marriage with someone. But I'm I'm looking at a watch on this child's arm. Somebody here feels like they running out of time. But it's like right now somebody is completely focused on making money. It's like money makes this person happy. You make this person happy. They want to have enough is what spirit is saying. Someone wants to have enough. So they won't have to keep chasing and chasing and chasing. Somebody just wants to have enough where they can give to their family. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But someone, seriously, they dream of marrying you. Somebody feel like marrying you would be like a good investment. And you know, a lot of people say, you know, marriage should be about love. Let's just be honest. Marriage is about love, but it's also a contract. So somebody here, they want to make sure they have enough because this is like, you are the person, you are the person of this person's dreams. They want to marry you, but it's, it's like you're, you're worth it to them. It's like, it could have been a, like a long time, like I'm hearing a long time coming. But the goal with this person, whether it looks like it or not right now, collective, is to marry you. But I'm feeling like a lot of stagnant energy in this situation as well. Even if you already have a family with this person. I'm feeling a lot of y'all feel like it's taking so long that you're never going to get this. I feel like you are. We got seven seven right though. Seven seven is very significant. I don't know if someone was born in seventy seven. Someone has a seven year old child. Um, you've been with this person for seven months, seven years. Um, I don't know, but the number seventy seven is very significant here. Hmm. Yeah, somebody wants equal give and take. They want everything to be balanced with, between you guys. But it's... Holy Spirit. Yeah. We have the death card, Scorpio energy here. Hmm. We got the Ten of Cups and then the death. I'm feeling like somebody here, they're spiritually awakening to y'all's connection or they have already. So they know exactly who you are. This person feels like, you know, y'all actually have a purpose here on earth. Y'all meant for an actual reason here. So it's like somebody here, I'm feeling like somebody needs to let go of some kind of, um, I'm hearing preconceived notion. Somebody here feels like they have to have a lot of money collective in order for you to be with them. Yeah, this is something that someone learned from their childhood. I just saw the Six of Cups. So this is something that someone was taught that, you know, you have to have, you know, you have to have all this and all that in order to get married. Or this is just something that someone has, you know, taught themselves since they were a child. That they have to exactly king of pentacles that's my divine masculine card somebody here feels like they have to be financially secure 
in order to enter into this marriage contract because if not they feel like everything is going to fall apart everything is going to end some people it's like y'all have had financial issues in the past and it's like even though y'all had these issues this person still sees you as like their dream marriage material they see that you are worth um having their last name but it's still this financial issue that keeps coming up holy spirit what is the stillness why is stillness here why is stillness here holy spirit yeah we got the ten of swords in the reverse Yeah, it's like somebody here is taking their time to give you this offer collective simply because they don't want to ruin things further. It's like they don't want to rush. They don't want to move too fast. Somebody here just wants to get themselves together financially, spiritually, emotionally, all of that. Because at this time, somebody here is still focused on things that happened in the past, whether it be in their childhood or in a relationship with you collective. But someone here, even if y'all are separated, they don't want this to end with you, collective. Exactly, Page of Pentacles. This is what I'm saying. I'm feeling like somebody here that was moving kind of slow. We have two cards of investment as well. Let me address that first. Again, Somebody here feels like being in a relationship or marriage with you is a very good investment. It is very good for them. But at the same time, right now, they don't really have much to offer. This person is willing to offer you what they have. But collective, they don't feel like it's enough. They do want to talk to you about starting this over, you know, like building this back up again. Like, um fresh like making everything fresh yeah because i'm telling you but see it's like somebody here this person they want to just like come to you and jump into this but right now their finances are, is what's keeping them held back not even just their finances it's something that this person was taught or they learned in their childhood that has this person feeling like they have to move this slow. This could have simply been because somebody uh, was betrayed in the past. I don't know if someone was married before or they were in a, a serious commitment before, but they got betrayed. Yeah, we got the two of swords coming up in the reverse. That is exactly why this person is indecisive. Not so much indecisive, but they're just like um, delaying giving you this offer. Hmm. There could also be a lot of things in this situation that you don't know, collective. Yeah, it's, I'm feeling like it's a lot of things about this person's childhood, the way this person uh, grew up, that you don't know about. This person could have even lied to you about, you know, having a, a great or terrific uh, childhood or something like that. I feel like it's a lot of things about to come out because this person, they want... They want equal give and take. They want to be on the same page. They want to marry you. It's like this person dreams about y'all being in this, this Ten of Cups situation together. Hmm. I feel like this person, they've been wanting to ask you to marry them for a while, but they keep putting it off. Yeah, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They've been putting it off for a while. This person sees you as someone who's very, very strong, very um, enthusiastic. Yeah, we got enthusiasm right here. Your energy is amazing to this person. But this person knows that you know exactly what you deserve, what you want. This person, they, they just want to give to you. But right now, they feel like they don't have enough. Yeah, we got the sun card coming out, Leo energy. You make this person very, very happy. Hmm. 
I feel like somebody here can be could benefit. Like, I don't know if it's you or this person, but expressing their true feelings here. Like, okay, I love you. I do want to marry you. But right now, I just cannot give you that because I feel like this is going to bring like a lot of healing, a lot of uh, happiness and joy into this situation because I feel like somebody here feel like that the other person don't feel like they're worth it. Somebody here is struggling with trying to find their own self-worth because somebody here is feeling like, let's say you've been with this person for a while. Seven, 13, 19 months or years. I hope somebody has not been with somebody for 19 years. But hey, you know, whatever floats your boat. Uh, but it's feeling like somebody has not gotten this offer. And that has you questioning yourself. This could even be something from your childhood. I feel like somebody is um, possibly uh, suffering from abandonment issues here. And the fact that this person that you love so much has not come through and giving you this this uh, this offer, it has someone questioning themselves. Someone here also, if you've been with this person, you have children, y'all been together for I'm gonna start between seven and thirteen years. Somebody here is like, I'm, I'm I'm I cannot wait any longer. I'm leaving. Somebody else here is like, I'm tired of waiting, but I don't want to leave. I feel like somebody is also waiting for some kind of truth to come out before they actually uh, make this offer towards you. Because I'm feeling like somebody does not see everything. It's something that someone is not seeing. But it's also right here important for someone to make the decision to be happy whether you get this offer from this person or not. Yeah, but I do have the Ace of Wands, a brand new beginning here. If someone, you're going to get some really good news, and I'm feeling like it's from this person about their feelings for you. Hmm. Yeah, it's very challenging for this person to actually open up and express themselves, but I feel like this person is going to do this because the underlying energy is relationship. This person does honestly want to be with you. Holy Spirit, what is the enthusiasm? Why is enthusiasm out here for the collective? Yeah. And we got the Queen of Cups coming up in the reverse. I'm feeling like somebody here, be more start being more positive about this situation. Instead of expecting everything to just go to shit. Yeah, somebody here, it's like you're not getting this um this offer. So it's like, are they offering to someone else? I'm also feeling like when someone does get this offer, because it took so long, someone is not going to trust it. I'm here to teach me how to love as well. So I don't, it's like in the past, I'm feeling... Somebody here is holding. I'm somebody here is holding on to something that happened in their past, which is um, keeping them emotionally stagnant. Here, it's time to be more enthusiastic about this situation, collective, or either just leave it out in the cold. Think positive, and positive things will happen. Yeah, and then we got the Seven of Swords. Somebody here feel like somebody is always lying to them. Yeah, doing something behind their back. Somebody looks, it's like, I don't, this is conflicting because it's like, this person over here is so in love, wants to get married, but somebody over here is holding on to childhood wounds and they can't fully open up emotionally. And they always think that somebody is doing something to hurt them behind their back. They always think somebody has a motive, if that makes sense. Somebody is just really consciously unaware is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and then we got the King of Cups. We got the Queen of Cups in the reverse, and we got the uh, King of Cups upright. 
yeah, whomever this masculine energy is, you know, well, there's no gender in Tarot, we all know. Take like the energy how it resonates. This energy here is very mature, very loving. Somebody here wants to be like get y'all's friendship back on track before they offer up this marriage is what it's feeling like. But I'm feeling like this person is like very devoted to you and your fam and y'all's family here. Somebody here is, I don't have the temperance card, but this person has a lot of patience. But I feel like you, <laughs> you're you very impatient with this person because you, you want this proposal. You want this offer. And I'm telling you, this person wants to give it to you. Exactly. Eight of Pentacles. This person wants to work on this situation right here. But again, I feel like this person is focusing on work. Somebody is trying to build their finances here. And that is what they're concentrating on. Success. Because somebody is like, if I don't have this to, to give, then how am I going to make you happy? If I can't do this, how is this going to work? And that's exactly what this is. Yeah. I feel like somebody here is in a state of regret. Because they, they, I don't know if you tried to hand over your cup so many times and they didn't accept it. But now this person, they want to work on this situation because they see marriage with you, collective. All right, that's the reading. If it resonated, please like, comment as well, subscribe, and we'll get back up.